Okay, we're continuing our series on Vim, and today we're going to be looking at remapping uh, some of our commands. So, it, you know, with Vim, let's say I'm in this file, this is the little file that we've been working with as an example. I come in here, I make some changes, and then I want to save and quit out of this program. Uh, so I would hit escape, and I would type in colon, so I hit shift colon to, to make a colon there, and then I would type in WQ, and that would write the file and then quit. Problem is, probably more than half the time, I type it so fast that I hit shift colon, and then when I hit the W, my finger is still on the shift key, so I end up typing capital W, lowercase q, and when I hit enter, it says non-editor command WQ with the capital W. So what I want to do is I want to reissue that command to work both ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the command here, but then again, we're going to have to put in our vimrc file to make it a permanent thing. Uh, especially with something like this, since you're quitting out of it, you would lose that command as soon as you ran it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit colon, and I'm gonna type in command exclamation mark, space, and now I type the characters that I want the command to be. So in this case, capital WQ, space, and then uh, colon WQ lowercase, enter. Now, when I hit this, I can hit colon WQ, with the capital W, which is again what I type most of the time by accident, and when I hit enter, it works. But of course, if I go back in here and try to do that again, it's not gonna work because that was a command that I issued in that session. If I wanna continue it throughout sessions, I need to add to my vimrc file. Uh, so vimrc file in my home directory, that's the vim uh, run command file. These are commands that are run when I start vim. And what I'm gonna do is just in here, just like we did there, I'm gonna type in command exclamation mark, and I'm gonna say capital WQ space colon WQ lowercase. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna just go ahead again and type the same thing, but for right. Uh, I don't really do that too often because, well, I guess I guess I do it. I, I usually I, when I'm writing, I'm quitting, but it's basically the same thing. So, oops. So now if I just hit W, whether it's capital or lowercase, it's go, both gonna write the file. So I'm gonna save that, go back into our test file, and now I can come in here, I can make some changes, and I can say uh, colon capital W, and it works, it writes the file. Or I can do colon capital W, Q, lowercase q, and it writes the file and quits. Or I can do it just like it's supposed to be with lowercase q and w, and it works. So that, that mistake of me typing too fast and putting a capital W is now not an issue anymore. And you could probably do the same thing with Q, um, although I very rarely quit without saving, but I guess sometimes I do. So if you wanted to add that same functionality, the command exclamation mark, you would put a capital Q space, uh, colon, and then a lowercase Q, put that in your vimrc file and you're good to go. So again, we'll just quickly look at our vimrc file here and you can see uh, see the commands again. So over the past weeks, we added syntax highlighting. We did our tabs and auto indent. And in fact, I am going to, for myself, change that to no, because as I mentioned in the last video, I'm not a big fan of the auto indent feature. Not trying to start an argument there. Um, and then our commands here. And again, if you want, you can put comments in here and so that later on you can remember why you put these lines in here. For example, I can be like, <laughs> I don't like auto indent. <laughs> but, uh, but those are comments, they're not commands, it's just for people looking at that file. So if you were to share this file, you know uh, what it's doing. So. Uh, I thank you for watching again. Please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. You can also go there to find links to support me, both through Patreon and PayPal. Also a link to my Patreon down in the description. That's Chris with a K, by the way, if I didn't say that. Links to my website in the description. And if you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and comments. I thank you so much for watching today. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.